Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. I always talk about supplements, I always talk about nutrition, I always talk about sleep. But um, people write in big and say, I try this, it doesn't work, I try that, it doesn't work. I just realized that um, I think I was wrong in assumption that everyone starts in a point where we know what we're doing so i record this video just to make sure that we're all on the same page we start from the beginning and um, help people to understand that you cannot what they say outrun bad diet so if you trying to change something in your life I think the first thing is to do is to analyze how did you get to this point in your life. So for example, if you're trying to lose weight, try not to attack every single diet that your friends and relatives and whoever on and succeeding and post them on Facebook. That's not the right start. The right start would be to understand how did you get to that weight point in the first place because if you apply a diet if you apply some sort of restriction at the end of the day you cannot sustain it it's not sustainable because lifestyle did not change so for example if you got a habit of snacking or habit of uh, drinking soda drinks or any, any um, sweet drinks any fizzy drinks um, if your diet is not clean, uh, if it's full of refined food um, or, or just edible food, you may need to change that. And the idea is to understand what you're trying to change, how you got there and what are first steps to take. So for example, I posted a video a couple of days ago, um, a link down below or at the end of the video uh, about um, how to lose fat so that is all great the assumption of that video was that you at the point when your diet is clean you sleep well you exercise or at least moving your body a little bit more and you need that extra help and true apple cider vinegar reducing sugars eating less carbs all help but first of all you need to quit your habits stress smoking, lack of sleep, sitting too much, binge watching TVs, especially in the evening that will disrupt your sleep, improve your relationship with loved ones, with people around you. That all helps to start your journey uh, for a healthy lifestyle. The second point, and I think it's quite important, is where do you get your motivation from? When I was smaller, a younger kid I would say I would go to movies and watch movie when you know someone almost lost in their um, life and then suddenly getting some sort of um, kick or change in life and then motivate and start running start doing push-ups and in a week two months time they're on top of everything they win in fights they suddenly successful look with all honesty, it's pretty motivational and I felt it motivation, but I felt it probably for one or two days. This is not sustainable. This is not how body works. And if you reckon that you, at whatever stage you're in, start you know, smashing out at the gym, going on diet, your body will retaliate. It won't handle it. The changes need to be sudden, but baby steps. Change one thing at a time. Observe how it works for you. Embrace it and move on. The second one is your challenge should not come from Facebook, should not come from people that bragging around you, that monitoring you. It should come from you. So the point of this is find motivation, not exogenous, not external. Find motivation in you and only compete with yourself. So for example, I was today at the gym, I'm, I'm, I was doing um, like one of the exercises, it doesn't really matter. I was pushing um, 20, 40, 50 kilograms, right? The guy um, uh, next, next machine was pushing 120. Do I need to get upset about it? 
No, for Christ's sake, I'm almost 45 years old. Uh, but for my age, for my performance, I know that yesterday I was pushing, pushing 42 and a half. So today if I'm pushing 45, I'm actually exceeding my previous result. If I would compete with the guy that pushing 120, I would injure myself and won't go to gym for another month or maybe two, or maybe you will quit altogether. So the point being is always compete with yourself. And if someone challenges you to push stronger, to push harder, refuse. That's not what you want. You don't want boot camps. You don't want any drastic changes. You don't want any external push that people will name and shame. That is so old. Take yourself in a state you're in, love yourself, embrace who you are, define changes that you would like to achieve, achievable changes, not like, you know, 120 kilos of weight and you would like to uh, be, you know, 70 in a month's time. It's physically impossible. It is impossible. So your goals need to be realistic. Your competitions need to be yourself and you need to report back to yourself. Be honest with yourself. If you do it collectively, it will end at some stage and you won't be able to sustain your um, your drive and of course you know you've got this channel or any other channel on youtube uh, i'm not sponsored i'm not creating those videos uh, to make any money i'm here to share my um, passion of nutrition and sport with other people and guide uh, how to achieve results in a sustainable way so find like-minded people not the people that pushing you to achieve some sort of goals that are not achievable that breaking you that shaming you uh whatever make sure that you find friends the friends that you know motivate you and, and and start and if you at the point where you need that extra energy extra understanding of how body works or just would like to follow my advice on simple uh life hacks of nutrition Yes, I still would start morning with apple cider vinegar. Yes, if you sweat a lot, I still would uh, ensure that you get electrolytes besides calcium, you need magnesium, potassium, sodium. And people are thinking they've got enough sodium, but it's not. It, everything should be in moderation, everything should be proportional, right? I would try to exclude as many uh, refined carbohydrates or, or besides most of the carbohydrates. Um, from your uh, diet. Just remember, most of the vegetables would have a precursor for minerals and vitamins and not real things. So try to eat more protein and fats, healthy fats. Try to um, avoid all poorly unsaturated fats in your diet, trans fats. Try to eat more saturated fats and, and, uh, uh, and uh, healthy fats like um, I don't know, coconut oil, like ghee, like macadamia, um, like uh, virgin olive oil, things like that. Try to sleep more than seven and a half hours. Eight hours would be good sleep. Between uh, seven and a half to nine hours is good sleep. So that is what will help you with your goals. Not pre-workout, not protein shake, no diet and nothing specific. So what I'll do, I'll put down below a uh, minimum criteria that I believe will help you, uh, your body to, uh, what's the right, to get to basic level, like apple cider vinegar, it's not even um, pre-workout. However, apple cider vinegar will uh, make sure that the acidity of your stomach is great. The food that you consume will be taken well and also will reduce your blood sugar level. It's one of those life hacks that it doesn't matter what you do in life, if you start your day and finish your day with apple cider vinegar, it will help you a little bit in your journey to be a healthier person. Anyhow, uh, let me know if you would like to hear any more stories like that, any more uh, guidelines, any more ideas how to improve your own self without taking inspiration from people that are not inspiring in a way like you know all this uh, women and men's magazines are all photoshopped there's no truth whatsoever in there they're based on commercial products they're not working they will damage your health because there's so much chemicals and things that's not digestible in them what i'm trying to say you've got all the tools and opportunities available 
in front of you uh, and around you to do what you need to do. You just need more motivation and the right type of competition. Good luck and all the best. I'm here to help you, to guide you. Comment down below what you would like to know. I'll put some products down in the description, video description, so you know uh, where I'm uh, getting mine. Those are proven uh, little life hacks that you, um, you can implement in your life already and benefit. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next video.